does this signal that the U.S. is really just afraid of crypto? So a handful of prominent bank failures, as Amy mentioned, have been making headlines recently. And I want to specifically talk about Signature Bank. So Signature Bank was shut down by the U.S. government. Secretary Yellen said it was out of great concern and they needed to act very swiftly. But as we know, there's always two sides to the story. A famous board member, Barney Frank, best known for his work on the Dodd-Frank Act of 2010, made a public statement that Signature Bank was actually solvent and could have continued business as usual. He said it was because of the bank's high percentage of crypto companies banking with them, I think it was around 30%, that the US government shut them down. There are so many red flags here. Um, first of all, it's not so far out of the question that maybe he's telling the truth. So SBF seriously screwed over the crypto industry as far as whether or not they were good clients or not. We all know that story. Second, does this mean that the U.S. government gets to decide who gets a bank account or not? If they don't like your business model or concept, they can just shut you down without a question? Most importantly, does this signal that the U.S. is really just afraid of crypto? Which is fair. It's very volatile. It doesn't really make a ton of sense to the outsider. But I think that it's deeper than that. So I think the U.S. banking system needs to just take a deep breath and kind of step back and look at all of this from the bigger picture because they're signaling that they're really just afraid. But if they don't adopt Bitcoin specifically, we'll just start there. I won't even touch on the other ones. But I think if they could just see how the rest of the world globally is adopting Bitcoin. I mean, you look at Vietnam, Nigeria. I know we talk about these a lot, but they are using Bitcoin as a currency because it works and it's efficient. So if the U.S. doesn't see the need and the use case for Bitcoin, then they're going to look up one day and there's going to be a higher percentage of Bitcoin users as their currency than the U.S. dollar. And I just think if they could just kind of like slow the roll down on excluding Bitcoin, that they could really strengthen the U.S. dollar and extend the life of it if they could just kind of slowly and surely adopt good legislation. I don't know. I know that's very controversial. That is. I mean, it's a sinister outlook that the U.S. government would choke out banks that do business with cryptocurrency. Right. But it is something to consider because, I mean, we talked about Silvergate. We saw SVB and Signature. Did mm -hmm. I say that twice? Yeah, no, they're the all S S's, which is very... <laughs> Was this on purpose? All of these <laughs> happened at the same time. Are, did yeah. those other two banks also have crypto ties? I don't think so. I mean, maybe like maybe they did have a few companies, but I don't think it was anything significant at all. Wow. And maybe this so. recent Bitcoin rally will be evidence that yeah. you can put your trust. It's so hard to know, though, who to believe because oh. Barney Frank worked for Signature Bank and it's just like, well, is he just saying these things because he's out of a job? Is it like a, you know, a, I don't, I don't know. Is it an ego thing? It's really hard to know who's telling the truth and what their motives are here. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. But that's kind of a theme in this space, too. <laughs> and maybe just the financial system in general, as I'm learning a lot about it right now. Yeah, it's so. not as healthy as as we'd like it to be. No, that's true. Hey, it's Amy. Click over here to subscribe, click over here for more content, and we'll see you next time.